another video for you today. Otra video para ti hoy. Colin from my Ana Computers YouTube channel asked me a question on my Open Web Analytics video. How do I update OWA, also known as Open Web Analytics? I'm going to show you. As you can see, I'm in logged into my WordPress version 4.3 and I have Open Web Analytics version 1.30, which is also the same version that Colin has installed. So to upgrade, go to Open Web Analytics website, then go to their GitHub page. Don't worry. I will include a link to my blog post at anutcomputers.com in this YouTube video description so that you can access these links directly and you don't have to search the internet. I'm going to upgrade to 1.5.7 Open Web Analytics. To download it, you can either download atar.gz or .zip. I prefer .zip. You can click on it and it will open up a download click prompt. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel here. You can also right click on these links and click save link as. That will open up a pop-up window where you can choose a directory to download it to. Since I already have it downloaded and uncompressed then, since these are compressed files .gz or .zip. You have to uncompress them. I already have it uncompressed. As you can see, I'm already logged into my web server. So via FTP, file transfer protocol with your favorite client software, you then upload those files. It depends on what kind of installation. I chose to install Open Web Analytics for testing in my WordPress, as you can see, my WordPress content slash plugin slash OWA. You can install it standalone, meaning in the web root, but not inside WordPress. Now, you all you do is select all these files. Since I already have version 1.3 on the right-hand side, the left-hand side is the 1.57. Select all these files, and then I just hit my arrow button and it's going to prompt me to transfer files. I'm going to choose overwrite. Click on overwrite and that labels them as overwrite then click OK. And now they should have been overwritten. Now we'll go back into WordPress and I'm going to go to the dashboard Okay, sometimes you have to refresh a couple of times. And then one caveat, when you install it under WordPress, you don't have to worry about a cache. But when you install it standalone, Open Web Analytics, there is a cache folder that you want to empty. Because then when you upgrade it, it's going to have those cache files and it might cause a blank page. Since I upgraded it, I have to activate it. and it activated successfully no problems a lot of times when I update plugins or themes I check the website this is just a development WordPress installation for me then there's a menu item for open web analytics when you install it under WordPress so select OWA and it says you are using Open Web Analytics 1.5.7. So I successfully installed it, and then I can change, make these changes. I will test a little bit, click on these links, administration, help. And then that I guess that takes you to their website. Reporting, no yellow pages. No white pages, no blue pages, no error pages. That also takes you to their GitHub. One more time, click on the dashboard. Now, there is a discrepancy with the plugin. Under Installed Plugins, it says version 1.5.1 is installed. If you click on View Details, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4
but that's for the WordPress. That's the WordPress plugin version. But if we go to settings and then OWA, it stipulates version 1.5.7. That's it. So that's how you upgrade your version of Open Web Analytics from version 1.30 or later. If you try to upgrade version 1.20 of Open Web Analytics, there are some different instructions. Hopefully this information was productive and helped you upgrade your version of Open Web Analytics. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.